Hey you guys, thanks for watching Dee Dee with my favorite groomer. Um, this is Barkley and I have been grooming him for a long time. Let me kind of just glance at her record since at least 2008 and it's 2017. And he is an older fella. I've actually pet sat him so I, I would say I know him really well. Um, I'm actually going to do this video for a uh, YouTube uh, subscriber who had recently called me for a grooming class and training. And this, I, I rarely do a lot, I don't do poodles every day, but I am a groomer for like a poodle breeder, you know, um, golden doodle and po standard poodle breeder. So I do do a lot of poodles, but I just don't do them here every day, right? When I go out to her house and groom all the dogs she has, we're talking from 10 to 10 to 15 dogs I'll groom in one day, all standard poodles. So I'm not fearful of poodles. I just have a different approach to them. It depends on what the pet parents are wanting, the full heads, the fluffy roundness. But this specific client who, uh, a YouTube subscriber had reached out and so sorry, girl, I forgot your name. I got She's out of Austin. She t totally called me like a couple weeks ago, a week ago. So I am going to use Barkley as my demo dog. I'm gonna work quickly. He has collapsed trachea over the years. And that's the, the trachea here being collapsed. Look at my guns. Uh, that's a collapsed trachea. Cl collapsed trachea is a trachea collapsing back. Um, so there's a few things we do. Mom doesn't brush the dog during groom be between grooms. So he comes in like jerry curled up. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see here. This is all jerry curled and it's very tight like I wouldn't want to brush this out like if you're gonna brush it out it's gonna be just kind of painful and he's an older dog so why do that so we just do a short body haircut so I'm gonna do a and I take lots of notes every time because if something changes you want to be able to go back without going you don't want to guess okay so take notes um, yeah he's uh, getting worse um, I quoted her a mobile grooming um, we're gonna do seven all over, two guard down head, clean face, clean feet, tiny beard, okay? And so clean feet as well. So, I hate to be redundant, I do need to get to work. I don't like to chit chat and you all know that. But I'm gonna do a seven all over and um, the top is gonna to be real short because I'm not gonna see them for, it's October, like three months is uh, how often he comes in. And they don't brush or anything like that. He comes in, we just do it all over again. We've left it long a few times and it's like, no, Dee Dee, she'll just come right back and let me just take it back down. So that works best for her. Each client is different, so just work with whatever's best for that client. Okay, so I'm gonna work quickly. And hi, Markley. Hi. Hi. And uh, he doesn't get blow dried either. There's things that I start to skip and, and not do as a pet gets older. Um, this one, like I said, this groom is going to be for the lady in Austin. I'm going to show her how I do a fast top knot. She's hesitating on top knots. This will be, look how, look how it grew in. And me, mind you, this dog is not being brushed at home, okay? So look how it grew in. It grew in pretty nicely, right? Um, and we actually go shorter on the, once we do clean face, you know what I mean? It's going to be all shaved on the sides. So truly just watch the video. Um, I'll give you more detail of what it looks like um, towards the, the, at the very end. I may have to do a two to three set video so they're not too long. Um, but I might, I might just wrap this up on a, just the face uh, and that way I don't have to video record. But we don't blow dry him due to anxieties and he's very stressful with the blow dryer. He likes to attack it. So back up with certain things and don't do those things if it causes too much anxiety on your senior pets. Okay, let's get started. I might, I haven't decided yet, uh, I might go straight to the head for uh, the, the YouTube subscriber so we can just knock that out of the way. Um, but I haven't decided yet. Okay, so I don't know that I can make this really work. I have uh, my other, my other, let me see, is this gonna work for you here? try to get a good decent view for you as I create like this very small space for myself here okay let's get started we're just gonna go straight to the top knot so that this video is top knot worthy and again this is a a, a fast efficient uh, sh short top knot okay so I'm going to actually uh, so I'm going back to my notes just keep uh, 
do you know go take notes people take notes okay so two guard head down so I'm going to um, brush out his top knot here so I can get my two guard down so I'm gonna brush it each little strand through my brush here brush it all forward I guess I'll come back with my clean face first and take all that down that way you know what you're working with okay Ooh. my elbow has just really been bothering me uh, the last couple weeks so I use um, I sell doTERRA for animals and for people uh, I use it mostly for animals but since I've started carrying doTERRA I use it for myself I haven't been sick in like three years which is kind of cool um, but the deep blue is really great for your elbow. If you want some, let me know. I'll show you how to use it for animals too. I had a veterinarian get me on that because she does emergency room, emergency room stuff. And the oils just, diffusing the oils in the emergency room really helps uh, the pets. So that, isn't that cool? Okay. So my elbow, anyways, my elbow has been hurting and I didn't put any uh, deep blue on it. Okay. So we're gonna do, um, sorry you guys, just gonna have to bear with me on the video thing. My little camera, my other camera's not working. So I'm doing clean face, and I'm gonna do my 10 reverse on the face, going backwards, right up under the ear here. Actually taking out some of this ear hair area, cause I'm gonna come back and pluck that, right? And there's a, a line, like the line of the eye goes straight down from that straight down to the front of the face. Okay, Let's see here. And we're gonna, I'm gonna stretch this out so I can, so watch the lip. And you're gonna leave a beard here. On this one anyway, we're leaving a beard. I'm gonna come down. Uh, I had a phone call. Okay, so inverted V here. And just kind of fade down uh, from the nose a little bit. And she likes that mustache kind of short so I want to come in halfway up to the where the lip line is halfway from the stretch of the lip and then we're gonna do this let me see here you can come down here instead of reverse right there just to kind of give yourself that envelope again watch your ear flaps come in take that scruff out of the ear so you don't have to pull so much follow the line just create a line all the way to the eye Grab the jaw when you're holding them. Try to refrain from holding the actual esophagus. But you have to have control of the body, so you need to grab something. And so you can kind of see, I just edged that down a little bit. It's gonna be seven anyway, it's all gonna go away. And you can help squeeze the eye together here if you need to. And he's like loving to look away. So come in and clean that out and fade a little bit down. Any excess little stuff, come take it out. The more you do now, the less you have to do after the bath. And this is what I'm calling it as roughing if you guys haven't heard that before. Okay? So halfway from the mouth line, just tidy it up with your, t doing your back and forth with your 10, however you need to go. I know, right? Too much stretching? Okay. So you can see I actually have the harness around his body here. Every dog is different, so to help him with his throat situation. But you just gotta be more on guard because you know he could jump at any minute, right? And so the coughing, that's what that is. And I'm gonna cover my face um, and try to talk through my mask a little bit here. Okay, so we're gonna go two guard. I'm referring back to my notes again. So we've got two guard down, which means with the hair, not reverse. So this is actually going to take quite a bit off. So two guard down. I'm going to go up right here on the face area and back down and swipe and fade, which means not heavy down the ears. But you do want this area right here straight up. This is a fast top knot. It's going to be just fine and it's also going to be short and they're not going to really have to brush it until they come back and you're just going to do it again. They're not going to have to brush it at all. So straight up here, go back with your two. It's gonna be a seven body, so it doesn't matter what you do back there, okay? Come down and fade on the ears here. 
Again, I'm going to double check here and go back. So that is a really fast top knot. That's my kind of fast top knot. Okay, Barkley, you got to cooperate. Now, I was telling the lady from Austin that I don't, I, I'm not the groomer that's going to do two hours on your top knot. I mean, be honest about what kind of groomer you are. If that's what they want, then schedule it, but it's going to be extra, right? My clients are cool with their one hour groomed, so I'm not spending too much time on the top knot, but if they wanted that, I would say, hey, it's $100 an hour, you know what I mean? Just based off of what kind of, what you're doing. Okay, so I got that all cleaned out. Take your scissors. Now remember, I'm not spending more than an hour with this pet. Matter of fact, me and Barkley usually get done in about 40 minutes. Around this area stuff, around that top right there. She likes a short, uh, I've done this so many times and had to take so many different notes, but she likes this there, but it's short. So come around, shut the mouth so you can go quickly and not cut the tongue. Shut the mouth, Barkley. If you take too much, then just go back and even it all back in. Nothing is ever the same. Did you know that? Our bo like our boobs are not even the same. God didn't make us perfect. Okay. So it doesn't have to be perfect. If you want to strive for perfect, I'm not saying don't, but don't worry so much about it. Okay, I'm trying to get, I love getting, make sure that the hair is out of the mouth because that's just going to cause a lot of plaque problems. So lift and get that out of there if you can. Watch the tongue. Oh, he loves to lick. You love licking Barkley. Okay. It's a good boy. It's a good boy. Yes, it is. Okay. Real easy stuff. Take your comb now. Take your comb. And I'm hoping you're getting a good, decent views here, girlfriend. We're gonna uh, push this up. And see, we're done. We are so done already. I don't know if you can tell, but we are basically done here. Um, just with your two guard, isn't that awesome? So don't worry about all this uh, logistics of this line and everything. Just kind of come in here. Don't spend too much time, you know? Trim that out of there so if you lift the ear, there's nothing sticking out. Um, push that up and come this a little bit this way, whatever. Doesn't have to be perfect there. It looks good, you know. It may also be that this dog's had this done over and over and over, so the hair lays the way it's it's been trained to lay now. So I'm just doing just an oval here, like a just a very light. Cause that two guard already did it for me. Just taking that edge and kind of rounding it a little bit. That's all. All right, and then the front here, I'm gonna do this around here. She loves the eyes, you know, so most people do. Unless you're trying to do show quality stuff, I mean, just make them like, this is your home dog. Okay, and kind of just come down. We're gonna do all this again. Well, not on him. I'm actually doing this pretty good now so that after the bath, we're not blow drying him, so it's got to be pretty done. Okay, let's take a look. See, I've gone a little shorter here on the other side, so I'm going to take this a little bit. And he's like looking over there, so it's really making it really hard. Don't do that. Don't move. I got it. Close the mouth. I know Barkley really well, so I'm okay with the scissors here. If you feel uncomfortable, use a, uh, your blade. If the blade's not working for you, then use your thinning shears. And just watch the tongue. If you're about to cut, shut the mouth, you know, push pressure down on the mouth. And he's like constantly looking that direction.
I'm just making, I'm spending more time on the beard than I am the, the top knot, if that tells you anything. Great. All right, we're going to end there. That was our top knot session for you. I hope that helps. And now we're going to do the seven on the body. I will video record it, and I'll get that top knot video out there first. Thanks for watching. Didi Croy and my favorite groomer on YouTube. All right, we're doing the body now. We're going to do the seven blade down everywhere. From the, be be the, from the neckline, you're just going to come straight down right there. And you can worry about your fade later. And I know him really well, so I'm not worried about him jumping, but I do have this, you know, harness around his body, and I'm really watching everything that's going on. I'm going to come back with my 10 on the tail and the clean feet here after I get all the seven off. My seven does need to be oiled. I can hear it. it's not doing, not the doing the best. Since he's got a dirty coat, I'm gonna oil it now. Just put some oil on each side of it. I'm doing it right over the trash. When you're holding your clippers, hold them at an angle. Shave yourself if you don't know. These are pretty, probably pretty warm. They're not that bad. But if you, hold it right here. Hold this like this. Can you feel the heat? No. So if you groom like this, you should not be burning the dog. If you want to hold it like this, you are going to burn a dog. I don't hold it like that. I hold it like this. Okay, here we go. I'm coming down the tail a little bit, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to come back with the 10. Okay, come on now, Barkley. Go lightly around the neckline. Sometimes as dogs get older, they have skin flaps in there. If you're using a 7, it could easily grab up the skin. That's why it looks like jabbing, but it's not. It's just very soft grooming. I'm going fast. But it's very soft, so it could not grab skin if it happened to have skin there. And uh, with a you know with a dog like this, you're just gonna have to work around the disability. So just gonna be tedious a little bit here, working around that collar. If it were any other dog, know that your dog can jump off the table if it's this loose of a noose, which I don't like. Just Barkley and I have a relationship, and I know him very well. I just would, I would never trust any dog 100%, but you do get to know your dogs, especially if you've been grooming them as long as I've been grooming Barkley. Okay. You do get to know your client's dogs, I should say. He does not like his feet or arms messed with. I don't know if you can tell. He's kind of pulling a little bit here for me. Come down the body on this side, just like that side.
Okay, switch out to your 10 now. We're gonna come back and do like the private areas. And the armpits, stuff like that. Here's my 10. Get up in that pocket real good. Just watch the way you're holding your blade. Come down on the back by this uh, stub. Might as well start my 10 reverse here. If you're, if the clients, which is the dog, if the client, if the dog is not, not really great. So go 10 down. Once you come up off your edge of going reverse, so kind of blend it back. But if you have a client that has a dog that the dog hates, hates, hates clean feet, just try to get them into teddy bear feet and explain why. And video really helps. Like video record the dog like screaming or whatever it's doing that it hates it. If we're really hating it at a certain age, especially, I would be like, hey, we're not we're not just doing this anymore. We're not doing clean feet anymore. All dogs, it's just for the look sometimes. So if the dog's not loving it, just be real with the owner. Like I have a lot of Labradoodles that um, hate their feet messed with. And why, why like, it's like punishment every time you're trying to do clean feet. Just tell the owner, just say, hey, watch this, here. It's so hard on the dogs. Can we just do teddy bear feet, you know, just round them? Most of the time, the clients or the human is cool with it, you know? If, especially if you have proof. I'm very much a proof person. Because it's so hard to trust people. So, build trust with proof, and that way they know you're not lying, they're, you're not making it up, and years and years of, of that will create a friendship and a relationship with your clients where they trust some really interesting things because you've just developed that already. It isn't like they have to question something. They just know that if I can't prove it, I'm not going to recommend something. Does that make sense? Because when it's just you and the dog, who's to say I did this or I didn't do that, right? Who's to say? Okay, we got clean feet all mess, mess, messed up. We got clean feet all messed with. We're gonna do 40 on the pads now. And then if you got any scragglies still sticking up, just take that 40 and kind of edge them out. I personally am using the uh, ceramic edge. I love them. They work fast, but um, this one's getting kind of dull. And I will be buying them again. If you want to buy some through me, I'll probably get it lower than you do. Uh, reach out to me and I'll sell you some blades. You okay, buddy? I like to clean up that pad up under the, the foot there with my 40 as well, just lightly. Berkeley.
Okay, I'm going to come back with my uh, tin blade because I can see some areas that I'm changing blades as well. I can see some areas that I could probably just pick up, clean up with my tin. Ten and seven are so close. Just come through and edge it up and clean it up. Just don't do heavy handed, you know, and it'll, it'll mesh. It'll fade in together. Come down the tail here. This whole position you know, with this camera has been really difficult this time around. This area is kind of matted right here. Just clean all that up. Again, this is my tin. Coming down a good inch off that base with the tin. I'm going to come back with a seven right there so it's not too big of a difference. Under the leg here, I'm going to go tin down. Clean up all these flurries. And I am holding the dog leg up as if he were peeing so it should be a comfortable situation when you do exactly what they naturally do the more you do now the less you have to do after the bath and remember we're not blow drying him so we want to clean up as much as we can now I'm going to lift him up here which he's too tall for this thing. Be real careful in here. Like nothing's truly ever hit, um, heavy handed on purpose. So it looks like a lot of jabbing, but I'm barely even touching, like I'm not even touching the skin. So it's up off the skin. My blade is up off of the skin. And since it's like little flurries, I can go back and forth. You can't even tell. We just want them all gone. I'm lightly coming over the, the tall legs here because it's just like you're going to come and scissor later. So just lightly come in with my tin on the, those areas. Again, it's just light as if I was just scissoring. It'll save my hand a little bit of muscle use. We're looking good. I'm gonna let you look here for a few minutes. Um, how his head looks and everything. Here, look over here, Barkley. And then we're about to go to the bath, and then we'll be done. I'll do another quick shoot afterwards. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we got done with Barkley, and here's his coat. We did a seven all over. Clean feet, pom pom tail. He does go home a little damp to avoid any blow drying issues with his neck. And I'm going to kind of grab a couple pieces there and cut the those, but yeah, it's kind of damp, so it's kind of hard to see, but comb it forward and then rebrush a little bit and take off a little bit of some of that if it's uneven. Small mustache. <laughs> He's so happy. Hey, Barkley. Yes, I love you. I love you.